Here's a quick Halo update for you guys. The Halo support Twitter recently said that a back-end update to address fusion coil respawns in ranked modes and map mode combinations in ranked arena is now live. Saying that after being destroyed once, fusion coils will no longer respawn in ranked modes. These changes will affect the maps Argyle and Detachment and the new map Empyrean. And previously you saw the map Detachment for all modes, well that's been removed. As Detachment will only show for Capture the Flag now. An interesting thing is that the map Catalyst has been completely removed from the ranked experience of Halo Infinite. Which I know not a lot of people were fans of Catalyst. I mean, I didn't mind the map at all. I didn't think it was that bad as people made it out to be. The Slayer did play rather slow, but people genuinely did like actually playing CTF on the map, but sadly it's no longer in the rotation. Maybe with enough fan feedback, we get it back in the game. And I'm really not a fan of having fusion coils in ranked really at all. I don't know why they just can't remove them. Like, they, yeah, the one time respawn, but at that point, just take them out of the game. I don't know. I just, I wouldn't really see too many pros being happy about having these fusion coils being in the game at all. I know Spartan has been very vocal about this. Now, obviously, HCS settings and rank settings are two very different things, and we'll see what happens with that moving forward. And the Halo support Twitter continue on some more information about the ping fluctuation issue that's been plaguing Halo Infinite since the summer. Continuing on here, saying that the changes to improve the issues with fluctuating pings have been rolling out to North American data centers this week. This rollout will continue over the coming days, and the Halo Infinite team will evaluate fixes and yada yada yada. Now, myself, I'm still experiencing quite a good amount of ping fluctuations. Like the other day, I was playing a game where my ping went from like 60 to like 120 to 80 to 90, and everywhere in between. Though I will say it's been less frequent, where before it was like every single game, now it's just more kind of like every once in a while. This ping fluctuation fix was going to be probably one of my biggest anticipated fixes coming to the Halo Infinite and the fact that it's kind of slowly rolling out uh, makes you just go okay we have to just kind of sit back and wait for like a week or two to kind of really see how these changes fix up the servers. Because you can add in all this great content and all these great features but if the game's not functioning properly well then you're going to have some issues. With the recent update I'm getting a lot more matches that are just kind of jittery cast kind of servers like weird kind of like little micro issues that happen not like some massive things like experiencing with pink fluctuations and packet loss. I haven't really been seeing that as much but they're definitely still there. And it looks like we might be having some changes changes when it comes to the mouse and keyboard aim assist that was added with this December update as it might not be an intended feature. If you don't really know what we're talking about, here's a video from Accelerate kind of showcasing everything. And it's not even on my mouse. All right, now I'm going to hold my click. So this is what simulates when you're actually um, like in the middle of fire. Look how strong that is. I'm Again, right hand's not even moving. All I'm doing is a very slow walk. That 343 developer replied to this video saying, weird, this isn't the intended behavior for the mouse and keyboard changes. For mouse and keyboard, we are only dampening input conditionally. Think lower sensitivity. The behavior shown looks like our controller aim assist, even activating with player movement. I'll ask the team to look into it. Which I really hope it's operating as intended because I've been playing on mouse and keyboard since this update and I'm telling you guys, it feels so good to finally play mouse and keyboard in Halo Infinite. It's actually, I would say, a viable platform now to play with against controller players. Because I play mouse and keyboard on literally every single game besides Halo Infinite and Halo in general because of how the game plays out. Essentially what's supposed to happen is that their sensitivity slows down when you're in red reticle range. It's not supposed to drag your cursor like we saw with that Accelerate video. So if 343 reverts on this mouse and keyboard change, I definitely will let you guys know how it plays out and what the update really does. And like I said, I'm really enjoying playing mouse and keyboard on Halo Infinite. It feels really good and I feel like I can keep up with controller players. So I really hope nothing changes, but again, we'll just have to wait and see. As always, I'll keep you guys up to date with everything going on in Halo.